Hello and welcome to Electric Focus and today we're charging on an Ionity 350 kilowatt ultra rapid charger. So let's get straight into the video. The first thing with Ionity, pretty big in Europe, getting bigger in the UK, the fastest charges out there at 350 kilowatts, but you also need to understand the capability of a car. So my Jaguar I-Pace, maximum 100 kilowatts, but at least I know I'm gonna get the maximum speed, but only up to 100 kilowatts. There's no cars at the moment in the UK that can charge up to 350. There are some that can charge well over 200. So Tesla Model Y and Model 3, for example, and some of the newer cars with 800 volt architecture can really take advantage of this type of charger because you can get your absolute maximum speed. And you're talking about speeds of up to 15 miles in a minute on some of those cars, so pretty incredible. With my car, I'm probably talking about, you know, four to six miles per minute because it's only maximum 100 kilowatts. So let's look at the different ways of paying on this charger. So first of all, you've got RFID card and you've also got a scanning code here that you can use, so a QR code, or there's the app itself from Ionity now, there isn't any contactless on these, which is slightly frustrating, so you can't use your debit or credit card. So before you start using one of these, I'd recommend you download the app and put your card details on there, so at least you've got that. When it comes to RFID cards, you might have one of the backers of Ionity, who are Ford, BMW, Volkswagen, Mercedes, I think. So when you bought a new car, you might have an RFID card with that car and get special rates or if you haven't got that, then you may be an Octopus Energy customer and you can get Electric Juice and they're partners with Electric Juice and you get 5% off the rate. So that's quite handy because charging is pretty expensive these days, particularly on ultra rapid. So you're talking about 69 pence a kilowatt hour on this one, but you save 5% with Electric Juice. So well, Electric Universe, I think it's called now. I've got one of those cars and I'm going to use that today. So let's get on with a charge. So. On the screen it says tap to start, so I'll do that. And then it talks about the payment method, so direct payment or mobility contracts. So it's basically things like RFID cards. And then it says next, so I'll press next. And it says connect to the car, so that's the next thing to do. Take the bung out for CCS. Tells me the plug's connected, so I know that's working and it's now communicating with the vehicle. It says that on the screen, so that's that bit, little pause where it talks to each other. And then it says mobility contract or direct payment. And as you can see, the RFID card, I think you can see, the RFID card here displays flashing, so I know that's ready to use. I just put my card on there, wait for a beep and beep happen says authenticating quickly said payment authorized so it's very quick and now it's saying prepare to charge so there's going to be a few seconds while that is happening but always wait to see that that's happened before you walk away from the charger i've made that mistake before just make sure it's definitely charging before you leave so when you see the screen come up in a few seconds you'll know it's charging and it's just come up now it's starting to show the kilowatts going into the car and also, it tells me my state of charge on here. Now I'm on 69% at the moment, so that's a quite high state of charge. You only get the high, really high speeds on a charger when you arrive at a low state of charge. So say 10%, you're gonna get really fast speeds then, but towards the end of the charge, it's going to slow down quite significantly when you get beyond 80%. So I know when I get to 80% on the iPace, for example, it's right down at sort of 50 kilowatts and then it starts to drop off from there. So it's not much point in charging much after 80%. You might as well get on back on the road and go to the next charging destination if you're on a long journey. So once you've finished, you just press stop. And that's stopping. There you go, <laughs> took a few seconds. So I know that stopped. It says return the plug to the holder. So with my car, normally you have to press the fob to take the cable out. 
to stop people taking out of your car. Put that back into the charger. It says plug returned, asking me for feedback. But that's it, that's charging on a 350 kilowatt Arnity charger. I hope that was useful. As always, please like and subscribe, and I'll speak to you soon.